Hello, Fatality Workers. This is Black Flame from the Fatality Company, and welcome back to the Cavers Chronicles Black Flame Edition. And I have seen the end. No one was spared. Not even the children. The memories. The screens. They haunt me. They won't leave. <laughs> um. I'm not sure what happened then. That was kind of odd. Anyway, welcome back to episode two. Uh, we're going to start this off with an enchant. Before I start raging about things. Wow, I'm glad that I did that enchant on camera. That's quite a good pick. Uh, we've got a little friend who, for some reason, ever so often they just don't die. I'm not sure. I've got to fire at them with my bow and miss repeatedly and make a fool out of myself. God damn it. There we go. Now, on to the... Well, not... Before I forget... Nocturne, if you're watching this, you really confused me, because I was uploading special episode one, which would have gone up just before this, and so I wasn't watching Twitter, so when I came back on to record this episode, I was like, it's saying, like, you're using an outdated client, I was like, what? No, I'm not, this is, and I couldn't figure out for ages why it was saying that until I noticed, uh, checked Twitter and noticed that you'd updated to the latest. Now it's time for raging. Turns out Mojang in the uh, 12W26A patch have changed the way pistons work. Which, you guessed it, broke my door. Oh, and not just this one. It broke my new one over there as well. So now neither of them work. So I've got to wait for an updated version of the 4x4 for that and try and figure out a way to make this work again. So at the minute I've just got this kind of stuck open in a new way that I've built it. That needs putting back. So yeah, not fantastic, to be perfectly honest. Suppose these need putting back. Yeah, I'm rather upset about that. I don't know what it was that they changed, I've not actually looked at the change log, but I'm going to have to check. Oh, uh, red's online. I'm recording. Anywho. Um. Yeah, so that's my rant out of the way. So I'm, I'm leaving these blocks here and not putting them in the wall so that the golems st can't still get through. And just in case you was wondering if you wanted to see what this door does, the other one just kind of messes itself up and pushes blocks everywhere. I'm not sure. Oh, right. <laughs> um, but this one does this. It kind of resets itself, actually. Which has me kind of wondering. I wonder if toggle latches still work. Because if not, I'm going to be infuriated. Yeah, looks like toggle letters still work. Anyway, today's project seems we're actually going to start... Um... Well, doing things on this. Is I was talking to my sister earlier today, and she said that... The Nexus walls here... This is... I can't remember what she said if this was Nexus. Um... The walls of this, she said, look really bare, and she hoped I'd do something with them. So, um... I'm gonna take her suggestion and make little lava columns, but I'm not going to, like, do them, like, say, all over the place or anything. I think I'm going to do them strategically and make the rest of the walls out of obsidian, which is going to be fun. And I hope I've got enough obsidian for that, because otherwise I'm going to go and empty the uh, little re uh, resource mine I showed before. Oh, and just in case you uh, didn't watch the special episode one, because it's a special episode, it's not necessary to watch, it was just about my redstone... Uh, Mesa's updated, so it now has very shiny emerald blocks, and unique textures for the fences and buttons and pressure plates and stuff like that. It's it's really pretty cool. It's the first texture pack I've seen that does that. Um, yeah, I'll be right back with the resources we need. Okay, that's us. Go. Oh, someone else has just joined. <laughs> I feel it's necessary. Oh, 
he left while I was typing. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to actually have enough obsidian for this, but... So just here. Yeah, I went and gathered uh, eight buckets of lava from down near my obsidian mine. And we're just going to drill in here, knock the, knock the ceiling out. And then two pieces of glass. Should I put knock this, that out? I don't think it's necessary. So put that there, and then put the glass back. Yeah, I like that. So then I shall put one here as well. Oh, didn't put any glass in before doing that one. And I think I'll do that on all of the ones that are more than one wide. So I'll do it here, here, uh, there, there, there. Like uh, the closest to the wall door bit is where I'll do them. Okay, I'll be back once I have that done, and then we'll work on obsidian and such. So that that's seven, seven. I just did a practice where I said six. This is six lava streams per quarter of it. I think it looks pretty good. It definitely adds a more light to the room, seeing as you know these bits are a little bit dark, and it break helps to break the wall itself up a bit, which is nice. Right, I'm going to do that on all four of the quarters round here, and then I'll be back. One positive note about uh, 12w26a is that I can now finally put my torches on my half slabs in my plant storeroom. Yay! Okay, so that's nice and uh, done with. Um, <laughs> fun fact, you know buckets now stack up to 16? Well, I went to actually go and gather the lava because, you know, I needed 18 more pieces for six on each of the three that were left to do. And completely forgot that just because empty buckets stack, full lava ones do not. So I was sat there just like spam right clicking, and my inventory was nowhere near empty enough to pick them all up. So I just threw about seven buckets of lava into the lava and destroyed them. Which was not what I wanted to do. Yeah, so I am now going to go and drop these buckets off, along with a lot of that glass that I don't really need. And yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. I cannot actually remember if I showed my storage rooms off in the um, tour video. If not, this is the stone one. Uh, glass. I actually paid a visit to the sand generator um, just before recording the redstone episode because I knew that this patch was going to uh, break it because I knew they were changing the pistons. I just didn't realize it would break all of my things as well. Uh, yes, and then just need to go into the plant room. I know it's kind of odd to store buckets in the plant room, but you know, it's for miscellaneous tools as well. So, speaking of which, this is my coal mining pickaxe. I I did it for fun. Also, notice how I'm level 21 when I was level 31 at the start of the episode and enchanted something for a level 30. Yeah, that's purely out of smelting glass and mining some lapis that was in the walls. Now... Of course, I like that. But should I just have obsidian there and then have something else, like, just leave it smooth stone there? Or would that be too stripy? Let's have a look. So on this wall, I'll just have that. And on this one, I'll do both. I'm sure this is entertaining. I never know when it's a good time to cut or not. Uh, when recording. I always think, you know, 
of what if something interesting happens while you cut. I mean, the only reason I cut before is because I was basically just repeating what I'd already shown you. So we've got that. Or that. I think I'm going to go with that, uh, with the double thick. It kind of looks odd because it's the only one that's still smooth down. You know when I said that I didn't think I'd have enough obsidian? Yeah, I was right. What's that? That's one, two, three, four, eight. Uh, that's terrible counting. So that's 12, 20, 28, 32 obsidian per side. So more or less I need half a stack per side. So I need a stack and a half of obsidian. <laughs> Why did I choose obsidian? I think I'm going to get a bucket of water and do a little speed up -y montage -y thing of me mining the obsidian. Because, of course, I'm not, just, I'm not going to make you guys sit through me mining a stack and a half of obsidian. Actually, it have to be a stack and 20 because I've already got 12. Yeah. Let's do this. Well, there we have it. That's done. Didn't take as long as I anticipated, thanks to my efficiency 4 pick. Now, you may have noticed at one point, I kind of wandered off this direction. And that's because I could hear this zombie that you can probably still hear now, splashing in water. And originally, I could not figure out for the life of me where it was coming from. And I think I may have put two and two together. No, 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 that's impossible. I was thinking to myself that it would be here, because I kept hearing creepers fall to their death. And a skeleton fall to its death, and then there was a zombie splashing in water, and I figured to myself, you know, well that's just what happens here, every so often a mob survives it. But it obviously can't be if it's that far away, and there's no zombie there. So I'm not sure, maybe there's a bit of the cave I haven't lit up or something. Oh well, let's get transforming, shall we? Yeah, I can remember originally when I mined that out, I had an efficiency 2 pick maximum, and I could still hear a zombie. Because they used to spawn in here. Nope. God, I'm being haunted by zombies. Ah, that was a really bad frame repeat. I actually, I actually think I know where those zombies are though. There's actually a small cave system that kind of wraps itself around the nexus. So 
they're probably in there because I've never been in there to light the place up, so. It's probably like one of the few dark places that they can actually spawn other than my mob spawner. And I reckon at this rate I'm probably too far away from my mob spawner for it to spawn in it anyway. So yeah, they'll probably be like, no, no, don't do that. <sighs> that isn't included in this. I'll probably do something else with the edges. Because I wouldn't, uh, if I started filling those in, I wouldn't have enough obsidian. I don't think. That zombie is really frustrating me. And I'm sorry if I keep being quiet. I'm rather tired. I just want to get episode 2 recorded before I go to bed. And, you know, start it uploading so it'll be ready to upload by the morning. Almost there. You know what would be really terrible? Is if I don't like the look of this once it's done. That would just... I would hate myself for that, because then I'd have to go around and tear it all out again and replace it. I probably wouldn't, I'd probably live with it, that's... I just don't have a good relationship with Obsidian. I love the look of it, but it's just so difficult to actually get rid of if you make a mistake. And there we go. Obsidian nice. It actually seems to make this place, like... I'm not sure if it gives it more depth or it just makes it feel smaller. Kind of a mixture of the two, I suppose. Right, anyway. That was a random noise. I'm going to sleep through the night, and I'll meet you guys on the surface. I changed my mind. I didn't sleep through the night. I decided, you know what? Stuff it. We're going to do it in the dark, so it's all scary and full of mobs. Uh, the episode's about to end off, but... I just figured there was one small thing I didn't show you before, and that is where I get my reeds from, like, from when I made my thing. It's just down here, a nice little river. You know, it's not a high-tech automatic one or anything like that. It's just a, a river that I run along. I can't remember, I think I've actually lost some of the reeds at some point. I can't remember exactly why. I think I was a couple short or something, so I just thought, uh... You know what, I'll just take them anyway. But you used to be able to run through here and get exactly two stacks of reeds from it. But yeah, they're definitely less than that. And, well, I suppose some fell in the water or something. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, this is Black Flame from the Fatality Company signing off from episode 2. Have a good one, guys.